Zach, it must be exciting to be part of a team trying to achieve promotion. Yeah, definitely. It's the first time I've been part of it. Um, I think a few of the lads in the change room have been part of it, but this is like this is the stuff that you play football for. You know, you want to be challenging, being in top teams, and it's just exciting now. Hopefully, we can finish the job off. So have you been able to learn a lot of things? I know you're a re relatively young player yourself. You've been able to learn a lot off some of these experiences because we do have quite a few of them in this squad, don't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. It's just um, how calm they are in, in certain situations, you know. Um, I think even on Saturday when, when you're 1-0 down, you know, people like Baps and Doyle, there's no panic, they're calm. Um, whereas some of the younger players might be a bit more frantic. They just, they're just the calm heads that come out. Um, Everyone What's the group like to be a part of in general in yeah, terms of day to day on the training yeah, ground? It's good, obviously, when you're winning, it helps. Um, you know, everyone, everyone's friendly, everyone knows each other, and like, there's, there's no egos, everyone just gets on, gets about their day, and you know, we work hard, and I think it's shown on the pitch, we're getting them wins, and that's why we've climbed up the table. Joined the club in January on loan from Lincoln City, obviously, a new club, a new environment pretty much a whole group of yeah. new faces. How do you feel like you've settled into the group during that time? Yeah, obviously, uh, I didn't make myself. I didn't get off to the best start. Um, my performances weren't great. Um, obviously, I came out of the squad for a little bit, but I've just worked hard, put my head down, trained well, and I think the last few weeks when I've been coming on, I've, uh, I've done well and showed the fans more of what I can do. I still think there's more to come for me personally. Um, but yeah, I think... It's getting better and better and you know the lads have been a help for that. Yeah, you touched on that there, but you've got a lot more game time lately in, in the sort of last three or four weeks. You must feel like you've still got a lot to show and you still want to show the fans Zach Elvis Yeah, definitely. As as I said, I didn't get off to the to the best start. There's no two ways about it. Um I have high standards and I wasn't at them standards for, for whatever reason. I don't know what it was. Um but you know, recently I feel like more part of the team and I feel more comfortable then that's when we, when I play my best football when I'm, when I'm comfortable and I can try things I can run at people and that sort of thing so I just feel confident and hopefully you know the, the next six games I can I can keep coming on or starting and, and help the team get, get that promotion From your perspective do you feel like your own standards have gone up not only on a match day but in training on a day to day basis as well? Yeah, I think I, I always train well but obviously when things aren't going well on the pitch, you can you can start sort of just second guessing yourself. So, just put that hard work in on the training pitch and just just sort of playing off instinct, um, just putting that work in, and then the the, the things on the pitch will, will come. And I think that's what's starting to happen. You're relatively new to English football. Do you feel like it's beneficial for you to sort of experience different environments and and football at different levels as well? You've obviously experienced League One and League Two yeah. now, both at Lincoln and Bolton. Yeah, to be fair, I think. Lincoln and Bolton for me has been quite similar and um, they both try to play certain ways. I think the gaffer here actually played on the me gaffer at Lincoln so um, the style of football and the the philosophy and the sort of culture that they want to build around the club here is, is quite similar to, to Lincoln. They want good people and they want to play good football so um, it's been it's been pretty similar. How big is that for you to be part of a team that, that want to play the right way because you know with the greatest respect to teams at this level it's quite a unique way that we play in comparison to that. Yeah, I think for me as a player, I like passing the ball, I like getting on the ball and, you know, direct football probably wouldn't suit me. So um, that was one of the reasons that I did come here because speaking to the manager, he said he wants to pass the ball, play through the thirds and that. Um, and as I said, it's quite similar to Lincoln. So it's just, just all positive. I like, I like playing the way that the manager wants to play. You've been coming off the bench quite a bit lately. Would a name for you, I know there's not many games left now between now and the end of the season, but would a name for you be to try and break into that starting eleven? Yeah, obviously, but as, as I said, the team are doing well, they're winning, so um, whatever the manager wants from me, I'm, I'm happy to do. If I can start and, and make an impact, that'd be great, but if I go off the bench, just keep making an impact. And you know, the main thing is the, teams get, the team gets the win, and then at the end of the season, we're all celebrating, you know? And there's a lot still to, to play for, so that there's sort of it's there for someone to to make an impact. Yeah. And I guess you're hoping to be that guy that, that can potentially score the goal to get yeah. Bolton up. That's the stuff dreams are made of, aren't they? So, um, yeah, I think sometimes when you're sitting in the hotel, that's what I'm thinking about, scoring that winning goal that gets the club promoted. But as I said, the main thing isn't for me, isn't personal glory, it's just helping the team. And 
hopefully by the end of the season we have that promotion.